Hello everyone. So in this video, I thought I'll probably talk about uh, this situation, this use case, a very common use case where uh, you will receive a request from the users to make some changes in the workflow. Now, whenever it comes to changes to a workflow, you have to be extra careful and uh, do it properly because when you change the workflow, it actually impacts a lot of things. And in most cases, you have to, of course, you know, get approvals or maybe you need to make sure that uh, the requester knows what they're doing. So you as a Jira admin, as, as a good Jira consultant, it is your responsibility to educate your users. Now let us talk about, uh, you know, one situation where maybe there is a workflow. For example, if I am looking at this uh, story, right? Now, whenever we talk about stories, stories are, of course, you know, very common things that people work on. People create stories and they start allocating or I should say uh, people create those epics and then they break down those epics into stories. So stories are important. And uh, in Jira, of course, uh, a story will have a workflow and this workflow or these statuses will be mapped to one of your columns. Now, the thing is, <clears throat> if you change something in the workflow, uh, a lot can change because a workflow dictates the life cycle of your issue. Workflow will tell people what route, what process they should follow. And uh, based on the workflow statuses, people will report and track the progress. Also, using workflows, people can uh, do some automations. Maybe the moment your issue is moved to in progress, you want to do something, right? Maybe you want to notify people. Maybe you want to send a message to Slack. Now, when it comes to workflows, you can have controls on who can do what, right? You can have validators. You can uh, also have post functions. So there are plenty of things. And whenever it comes to workflows, don't really treat even a small change as uh, like a light change because even a small change can have a lot of impact. Now, what if in this video, I thought I'll, I'll, I'll probably cover one, one use case where what if there is, a, there is a need to change the status. Now, if I look at this workflow, it's a very simple workflow, right? We have three states. It could be a bit complicated workflow, but let's say you receive a requirement from your customer, your client, your users that I want to replace the in progress status in my workflow. Uh, with something else. Let us say we want to change and replace it with in review. I mean, just a random example, but uh, hopefully it will give you an idea. Now, it can of course have an impact. Now, if I go to my search and if I perform a search based on this uh, Android project, like the other issue case A and D T. So before you do this change, you can perform some search based on the status, right? So let us say you want to do um, project is equal to Android, right? And uh, the status is in progress. Now, if you run this query, it will give you these eight issues where the status is uh, definitely in progress. Now, what do you think will happen if you change or if you replace uh, this status in progress with uh, something like in review so i think you know the answer but let us let us see let us let us try that and uh, we can of course take a look at the jql so reporting can also be disturbed but uh, we will probably focus on a couple of these issues right maybe i'll open these four issues a and d t 70 65 61 51 right some of these are epic stories and subtasks of different types now if i go to my workflow and uh, if I do any change, if I basically maybe replace a workflow status, let us see how it will impact. So I'll, I'll, I'll go to workflows and uh, all of these issue types are using the same workflow, which is fine. I'll go to the diagram. And uh, if you replace a workflow in this case, or not a workflow, but a status, in this case it is, of course, you no, know, it's a simple status with global transition, but you can also have like this this may not be a global transition. This may be part of this status. Some could be somewhere in between 
in your path so you have to do it, do it carefully you can't just you know there's no easy way to just replace the the status right so let us say i have this status called as in review right now the thing is uh i want to have this add here i can uh, and in this case i mean this is probably not a good example because if i oh let us see let us see how it goes so i'll i'll add the status and i'll try to remove a status so this will like this will first of all stop me because you can't just you know replace uh, the status straight away so for doing this you need to go to your jira admin and you need to basically copy this workflow and then i'll discard this workflow by the way and uh, good thing about jira workflow which don't i mean not many people appreciate that these things were designed keeping keep keeping in mind these use cases because when you are replacing a workflow status or making any change jira will prompt you and guide you for uh, doing some kind of a migration so if you go to issues and if you go to your workflows you can find the workflow you know the workflow that you have and maybe copy it to something like as maybe version 2 whatever so let us say uh software development workflow underscore version 2 right i have this work this workflow which i will now modify now we, we can modify the the workflow here because this is this workflow is not really being used and uh, you can do in review like you want to add a new status now when you add a new status and when, when you replace it this workflow i mean you need to basically tell your project that yes i want to replace in progress status by in review status so you can remove this status from this workflow which is like a th this workflow is not being used now this is this is a, of, of course it may seem like a simple thing but we have done what we wanted to do i will now go back to the project right and i will then uh, add this workflow to the workflow scheme so let us see how it works and uh, how jira will help us and guide us to use uh, a new workflow but uh, also prompt us to do some kind of a migration so let us say i want to add a new workflow which is jira software come on i I think I forgot the name. Okay, it's, it's software development. So, software development workflow. Click on next. Click on uh, all these two types and click on finish. And then, uh, uh, when you try to publish, something should happen. Hopefully, now you can see here that uh, for Epic, we have two Epics, like where the status is in progress. So you can say, okay, I want to move it to interview. Similarly for task, I want to move it to interview. Similarly for subtask, I want to move it to interview and so on. So Jira is intelligent <laughs> in this case. Uh, and it will of course you know, help us to perform this migration. And this is actually wonderful because using this, using this uh, beautiful migration that we are doing, we are now basically in our uh, in our project we have replaced in a way we have replaced that particular uh, status now this can of course have some impact because uh, when you go back to the board your board should also be updated because your board right now is uh, i mean of course there is a column called in progress and this is again again uh, this not many people actually know about these things in the beginning especially project managers and, and i work with a lot of project managers where i have to tell them uh over and, over, and, and like multiple times that these columns are different from statuses. You have to map your statuses to these columns. For example, in this case, we have this card, uh, where is the column? Yeah, columns. And you have to basically now say that, okay, in review is now mapped to in progress. Uh, and now we are good. And of course, you know, when you go back to the same issue, for example, this task two, if you refresh it, it should say in review, right? If I go back to this one and ndt 60 and 61 in in progress in progress it's now in review now of course if, when you run this jql this will not really return anything because uh, we have replaced in progress by in review and if you now run this it will hopefully give the same result so basically as you can see just doing a simple change in this workflow 
it can have so many things that can get disturbed especially reporting and the way people work so do it carefully and uh, do it after you get all the approvals or at least you notify and you communicate this change to all your users and yeah that is it that is all i wanted to talk about in this video i, I hope you found this video useful and you learned something new today thank you very much bye bye